Hi, I'm Jodie Kidd and this is Fashion Avenue. Today I'm in beautiful Venice checking out the very individual boutiques of St. Marco. Venice has a fairy tale quality that only a city floating on water can have. With its canals, bridges and magnificent palaces and piazzas, it's one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Fashionistas head to the St. Marco area, home to St. Mark's Square, the Campanelli and the Bridge of Sighs, where the main shopping street is the Merceria. Joining me on my shopping mission today is fashion editor Giorgia Cantarini, my guide to where's hot and where's not in Venice. We've arranged to meet just round the corner from my hotel in Quadri, one of the oldest cafes in St. Mark's Square. Hello. Hello. Jodie, nice to meet you. So we're going to have a quick coffee. All the Italians start mm -hmm. the day with espresso. Start the day with espresso. Yeah. I think if I had one of those, I'd probably have a heart attack. It's so strong. <laughs> well, anyway, we should get straight to it. The budget. How much is it? A thousand euros each. Okay. As it's Christmas coming up, I want to get a really nice Christmas party dress. And there's your thousand euros. Thank you. What are you going to look for? Just because I've done a lot of styling with music bands, I would like to buy something for a music festival. I would like to find something really nice and glamorous with okay. a little bit of rock. So yeah. no wellies then? No. No wellies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fantastic. Well, we better drink these coffees because we've got a busy day. Yeah. So we're off on our mission with a thousand euros each in our pockets. I'm after a Christmas party outfit, whilst Georgia wants something glamorous with a rocky edge for a music festival. So this is like St. Marco Square and literally yeah. our street is here. Yeah, it's called the Merceria. Merceria in dialect. And it's like one long little yeah, street. Yeah, it's really, really long. Starts from here and goes up, up, up. <laughs> Gucci. Ooh, and Dolce. Dolce and Gabbana. Nice gondola over there. Beautiful. Well, you don't get this on most shopping streets, I tell no. you. But enough sightseeing. We need to get down to business. Uh, is this our first shop? Yeah, it's Al Duca d'Aosta shop. Al Duca d'Aosta is a Venice fashion institution, stocking both men's and women's wear. The Merceria store is known for its expansive range of labels, from Marnie to Jill Sander and Yves Saint Laurent to Ralph Lauren. Dries van Noten, okay. Uh, designer. Yes. Famous. It is yeah. quite Christmassy with the red for my mission, yeah, for the, my it's Christmas. Not, it's not really your style, I think. It's not really my style, so you've got, you've got my style already. <laughs> they're go wow, they're quite weird. Yeah. Right, here we go, that's 500 for a shirt. Makes you look like a little, like, like a pom pom. Yeah. That's which interesting. Like, which I like a lot for me. Wow, I don't, I, wouldn't, I don't even know what it is. It's a bikini. <laughs> oh, I like this one. It's Marnie dress. I really like it. That yeah. is gorgeous. You can try it on. That could be very Christmassy. I could try that on. Dan van Furstenberg. 395 euros, so it's very affordable. What about this? Ooh, that's gorgeous for you. Hey, what about this? Ooh, I like that too. And it's Diamond Furstenberg, 355. So let's go find the changing rooms. Okay, let's go. How are you getting on? Oh, wow, look at you. Yeah. This so little nice. detail here is really cute. And it's like, a, I think it's it's Christmassy. I have a Christmassy kind of fun. Yeah, you can mistletoe, wear a lot of accessories and maybe Eggnog. Glass. So what do you think about yours? It's, it's really, really bohemian, pretty. chic, Paris, young yeah, girl. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Kind of. I really like it, but it's it's big, this one. Mm. And the dress is, look at this. dress is big as well. Too loose. I can I can keep the shoes actually. Put the shoes on and the maybe side. The, the belt. And maybe the belt. Okay, but the dress not. No. But I'm gonna put this on the side because it's yeah. affordable, it's cute, and if we find the right accessories, I think it could be a yeah, nice. Yeah, just leave a the nice, shoes. Uh, I don't really like no, the, the shoes. No, the shoes are definitely no no. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> I wow. pinched your dress. What do you think? I, I feel, like you, but it's too very, serious for you. I, I feel think. very kind of. School matron. Yeah. Like I need a whip. Yeah, like a Stop housewife for a little people. bit. Oh, a housewife. Posh and simple. And Posh it's not, and it's simple. Not, yeah, it's not definitely for evening wear. Okay. You look it's great. It's really me. 
You see, it's a little bit elegant and it, it's rock. I mean, it's, it's cool definitely to go to rock a and music roll. festival. See what the price of the top is. 168 euros, so it's super affordable. Yeah, I definitely want this top. But you want the belt? Yeah, but I want it. You want it? Yeah, I want I it. I love a woman <laughs> that knows what she wants. Could we possibly put those on the side? Mm -hmm. Yes. And then we're going to I'm buy gonna these. I'm going to take these too. Okay. So I need to write down. Hello, the belt is 150. 150 Whoa. euros. And then the t-shirt. T-shirt. Okay, is 159. That's 309 euros. Okay. And then we put everything else on the side. Well, well done. You got your first purchase. Yeah. Yay. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. First shop, first purchase. How exciting. Yeah. Come on then. Our Venice shopping trip is off to a flying start. And store number two is just a few steps away. So we are in... Cocinelle? Yeah. Do you know what Cocinelle means? No idea what Cocinelle means. Cocinelle means ladybird. Italy's affordable accessories brand offers every kind of bag or purse imaginable. Plus belts, gloves, scarves, hats, watches and jewellery that look as chic and simple. I need to find some nice jewellery. Yeah. To go with a black dress maybe. A nice clutch. Like maybe a clutch. Well there's loads of beautiful bags look at, here. Look at there. Is it, you meant yeah. this one? Yeah, I meant this one, the gold it's one. It's gorgeous! Christmassy. Let's have a look at the price, sir, because it's mm. all about my budget. I, I, think, I think it's in the budget. 60 euros. So maybe yeah, we're going to yeah. have to base everything kind of goldy now. Yeah. And there's some jewellery here. What about this? <gasps> look at that! And it's 46 euros and it would go with the bag. I think it's really fun. I think you should take it. Yeah? Okay. What about you? We have to find you something. Something black or white. That's actually a great bag. Yeah. What's the yeah. price of it? 240. Oh. So it is in budget, but it's quite a big bit of it's, your budget. Yeah, and I've already spent a lot of... You've already spent it. Well, I mean, if you really like it, you can put it on the side. So I'm going to buy the ring and the gold bag, yes. please. Thank you. Clutch, 60 euros, and the ring was 46. 46. You put your bag inside, yeah, which was 200... 240. 240. 206. Perfect. There we go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very nice. Have a Merry Christmas. We're on a roll, but Venice has plenty more shops to offer. Coming up, Georgia's flattery gets her everywhere. You are like a great goddess. Georgia may have lost the plot. You would wear that with that dress? Interesting. And Venetian style appears to be more daring than I thought. Is her booby going to be safe there? <laughs> Welcome back to Fashion Avenue in Venice, where I'm shopping on the Merceria with fashion editor Giorgia Cantarini. With a thousand euros each in our purses, I'm after a Christmas party outfit, whilst Giorgia's hunting for something edgy for a music festival. So far, I've put a 395 euro dress on the side and bought a gold clutch and ring, totaling 106 euros. Georgie has snapped up a top and belt for 309 euros, but is still undecided about a pair of Dries van Noten shoes and a black patent bag. But with everything shutting for lunch in the city at 12, 
We need to get going to the next store, Arnaldo Batois. Here we are. Mm. Do you like it? It's gorgeous. Look at these bags. Venice-based designers Salvano Arnaldo and Massimiliano Batois' dramatic pieces and accessories stand out from the crowd. So much so that super labels Chloe and Chanel have commissioned the duo's directional bags. Sit me. That, that could be very, very you, actually. Yeah. Okay, well, it's 390. So it's in budget. Yeah. It's okay. like Christmas. It is very Christmassy. A little bit funky. Red and vibrant, but yet it's got that fantastic individual piece there. Yeah. But the bags, I have to say, are really beautiful. Look at yeah. this one with the little cherub. Yeah. Gorgeous. But see how it just yeah, fits. It's beautiful. In the body so well. But it's absolutely gorgeous. But it's on my budget. I'm so sad. Oh! <gasps> Wow! What do you think about it? I love it. It is amazing. It's proper rock star, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I love the whole thing, actually. <laughs> so if you don't want to, I'm getting it definitely. <laughs> so what's the price on that, the main thing? It's 400 and something. Yeah. 400 is very in the budget. I don't know, I don't know what to do, Jody. It fits you like a glove and it's, it's you know, it's really unique. I'm going to try mine on yeah. there. Try the red Christmas outfit. <laughs> I also spotted this, which is really cool. And if it doesn't go well with this, could go well with the black dress. Yeah, I think so. They didn't have any shoes. You look beautiful in it's it. It's cool, huh? Yeah, it's really cool. You are like a Greek goddess. Oh, love the Greek goddess. <laughs> and the bracelet looks lovely. I'm a bit overwhelmed. I'm going to put my dress and my belt on the side mm. and then I'm going to think about it at the end of the day, but I really want to buy this yeah, because whatever happens, that's going to go with either outfit. Yeah. And you? Going to put it on the side? What do you think? No, I want to buy it. You're going to buy it? Yes. I really Hooray! Yeah. I'm going to put this on the side, okay. but I am going to buy this, and I'm you're going to buy, to buy that one. So let me get my little book out. Bought black dress. dress. 420. Jody, bracelet. 450. 450 euros, which is there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Red dress. 390. 390 euros, and that's put on side. I think you made the right decision with your dress. I think it is fantastic. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you very, very much. I love Georgia's dress, but I think she's gone buying crazy and forgotten that she's already bought a top. I don't think the two will really go together, but right now her mind is on other things. Chocolate, to be precise. It's oh just my. a bit cold, so I thought it would be nice to have some chocolate, some this hot chocolate. Is, this, I think I've died and gone to heaven. Chocolate, chocolate. Mmm. Miss Corpo. Body. Eat it? No? No. But Maybe I'm being a bit naughty. <laughs> Very. You see the mobile chocolate? <laughs> Oh, the mobile <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Italians are kind of obsessed by with, with mobile yes, phones. Uh, phones and mobiles. Always talking, talking, talking. Always talking. Do you want a cup of hot chocolate? I look would at, love there. one. Oh. Possiamo avere due tazze di cioccolato? Where can I buy this machine? <laughs> <laughs> so it's oh one for you. Goodness. Do you like it? It's like. Complete heaven. Ooh. Right, come on then. Let's Bye. go. Bye, thank you. Bye. We're back pounding the pavements and our next shop is a little different. Georgia wants to take me to one of the many design studios in Venice where she thinks I might find some more interesting accessories. It's a very famous shop for the fact that they tailor the dress so they make it for you exactly the way you want it. Ah, okay. The Godi Fiorenza Atelier is home to the Fiorenza sisters, whose designs hover between the traditional and the contemporary. Patrizia's creations in silk chiffon are more sculpted than sewn, while Samantha designs the stunning jewellery. 
this is lovely. So take an, like a normal jumper and yeah, it seems like cut it nice. up and giving it different things. You can use it like a dress really, and yeah. a pair of leggings. Amazing ponchos. That's brilliant. That's so lovely. With the skinny jeans and a pair of boots. These are amazing. Yeah, mm. you should try them. I'll try, but I've got a polo neck on. Do you want to I don't think it will. <gasps> oh my goodness. It's like a neck brace. <laughs> really Egyptian style. <laughs> I love that. Four colored leathers as well. Yeah. Here. It doesn't match with your dress. It doesn't, does it? No. Here is actually where they made the dress. This is where it all happened. That's really nice to come to a shop yeah. and in the front you have and see actually the how they and made and come here and then this is so this is a piece in progress and the tail is missing. Mm. Where's is her booby going to be set? <laughs> no, there's a leather bustier that goes underneath that. Oh. That was really interesting. Yeah. Nice to see how they make everything. I'm starting to get a feel for the real Venice. What is it like living in Venice? You know, everything is much, much slower than any other city. It's because you cannot use cars. No. You have to go by feet. Yes. Or using the boats. The boats, right. I heard that the, the, actually, all the streets of Venice, they get completely yeah. flooded from yeah. time to time. Do you time. see that wooden things here? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're everywhere. I've seen yeah, them they actually the use them to make the people walk. Oh, they're it. walkways? Yeah, walkways. So the water comes up really high? Yeah, just up here and you have to step into. That's so mad. It's quite scary, actually. Yeah, actually, but I mean, in Venice, it's the only way you can walk. Yeah. But we need to get back to our missions, and Georgia thinks there could be something to top off her outfit in the next shop. So, I'm gonna take you to the hat shop, very famous here in Venice. Since 1901, the Longo family has been making hats as well as headgear and goggles for pilots and vintage car drivers. Juliana's original designs are all handmade in materials ranging from string to precious silks and fur to velvet. I love hats. Love Me too, hats. as you can see. <laughs> yes, I can see. Sweet. Yes. I look like a mop. <laughs> Yay. What about this for me? What do you think? Yeah, try it on. Could be in my style. This is a good English country hat. I'm like, all right, sir. Mm. For your rock party, no. No. Yay. That's a great hat. Can you try it on? I really like it. You want to try it on? Yeah, I quite like it. You would wear that with that dress? People's gonna notice me. <laughs> so it's 195. So it's in budget. Yeah. Just. I would like to buy it. You would like to buy it? Yeah. Okay. So I'm taking it. Allora, abbiamo detto che sono 195. Perfetto. Perfetto. Benissimo, grazie. Dun, dun, dun. Another purchase. Georgia hat for 195. Grazie. Grazie. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Our missions are really coming together, but all this walking is making me build up an appetite, despite all the wonderful scenery. We like this some markers. This is Rialto Bridge. Jersey. Rialto Bridge. Yeah. This is an amazing view. Yeah, we are on the Grand Canal. Yeah. Over there, there's some Marco. Yep. And just here, we are in Rialto, which is a good area for uh, restaurants and go eating. Oh, is it? Good, because I'm starving. George has picked out Venice's oldest restaurant for lunch, Poste Vecchie. It's a chance for me to ask her about Venice's glamorous celebrity connections. Venice is going quite a hot spot for movies and yeah you know, because I remember I remember growing up and watching James Bond and they always had you know some great scenes here and Indiana Jones was yeah. from there as well um, everyone says I love you from Woody Allen Venice Film Festival now is, is very high up there on the, on the yeah. film festivals and you know you get all the superstars coming over Right. Yeah, they actually go around Venice at night. Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman used to walk around Venice at four in the morning. You're joking. Mm -hmm. Elton John actually has a house here. Elton John has a house here. He just comes here to relax. And Lovely. I think he probably likes shopping. <laughs> Coming up, our mission takes to the water. And I try on some rather unusual accessories. If someone came towards me wearing that, I should think I'd die of a heart attack.
Welcome back to Fashion Avenue in beautiful Venice. Fashion editor Giorgia Cantalini is guiding me around La Macheria. With a thousand euros each, I'm looking for a Christmas party outfit, and Georgia's after something edgy for a music festival. I'm torn between two dresses that I've put on hold, but I have kept my options open by buying accessories to go with both. A gold clutch bag, a ring, and a bracelet totaling 256 euros. Georgia has gone buying nuts and spent 924 euros of her budget on a top, a belt, a hat, and a dramatic dress. She's also undecided about a pair of shoes and a black bag. But we've got to get back to our mission. Yeah, I think we need to add a little bit of um, Venetian mystique to your outfit. Mm. So I'm going to take you somewhere else special and okay. we're going to go by taxi, actually a water taxi. Water taxi? Yeah. Sit. Buona sera. So where are you going to take me? I'm going to take you to a mask shop. Ooh. It's called Camarana. And yes. it's where Stanley Kubrick picked up the mask for Ice White Shot. Wow. And there was some incredible masks yeah. in that movie. I think it would be um, nice if you can find a mask for your Christmas Eve party. Absolutely. Something Venetian, something that I can go home and just say. Yeah, I've been and, to Venice. I've been to Venice and I've found this amazing piece. Our trip to the mask shop has taken us on a detour from La Macheria, but I think it's going to be worth it. Oh, wow. See oh, all these fabulous masks? My goodness me. A celebrity favorite, Karma Kana in the Dossa Dora area is one of the oldest and largest mask studios in Venice. Venetian masks were once compulsory by law, and during the heyday of the city's February carnival in the 18th century, Venetians wore costumes and masks for several months at a time. The carnival had so many characters wearing Arlecchino mask, which is, here is the the clothing of our Lacchino. This is the original doctor's mask to protect the doctors from the plague. <laughs> if I had the plague and someone came towards me wearing that, I should think I'd die of a heart attack before the plague. <laughs> <laughs> the life out Let's of me. find something for our mission. Just some little ones. I know they're not gold and silver, but they're... They also could be... Quite fun like that, I suppose. I like it, but it's not gold, actually. It's not gold. It doesn't that's... match with the dress. Ah, this is a black and gold one. I don't really like it. Well, you can go for very crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah? Yeah. It's crazy, but it's funny at the same time. Well, the thing is, I wouldn't really wear it on there. No, I could. Just, you can is just it put good it kind here. Of How much is it? It's 36 euros. So it's in budget. Super budget, I might get 10 of them. <laughs> Fabulous. I love this. I'm gonna buy it. So I'm gonna get that, my little bit of Venice to take back home, which is 36 euros. Let me put it into my book. Are you happy? Very happy, I think it's great. Mask, 36 euros. Thank you very, very much. Have a happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye bye. Christmas wouldn't be Christmas in Europe without a Christmas market, and Venice has its very own. Oh, smell gorgeous. Oh, what are those? Lavanda. We love you. Products from all the parts of Italy. Cheese and wine and oh my goodness, I'm gonna have an old wine. Can I have Hello. one as well? Can we have two old yeah. wines? But it's near the end of the day. Time to work out exactly where we're going with our outfits. With both a dress and a top, Georgia's been buying multiple outfits, but now she has to decide which is going back to the shop. Yeah. On the top? I don't want it. On the side you put Dries Van Norten. Dries Van Norten shoes. No, it's... Uh, your little black hat you bought from uh, Longo. Yeah. We then have your beautiful black dress. The black paint and bag. Mm, nope. No. So that's 765 euros. So you're well under budget. Okay, so Jodels gets 
Dora and Van Furstenberg dress. And you put aside the red dress, you don't want it. The red dress is a goner. Yeah. Gold bracelet for 150 euros. Yeah. A ring. Yeah. And, and my the bag. gold clutch. Oh, and my mask. my mask. Can't forget my mask. It's only 687 euros. Why don't you get the ba bag? For 240 euros, for the bag, we'll put you at 40. We'll put you only at five euros over. You could borrow five euros from my Thank 687. You. I would be well below a thousand euros. And um, what are you gonna do? I think I shall book the best restaurant in Italy for both of us for tonight. <laughs> Thank you. With our outfits sorted, it's time to warm up inside for a celebratory drink at the Uber Cool Bar Centrale. They brought you here to taste the spritz, which is the, the famous drink that all Venetians have at the end of the day. Really Aperol, soda and a little bit of white wine. Oh, I love Basically it. Prosecco. I found out so much more to Venice than, you know, I've been here a few times and, um, and you've shown me some wonderful the things. The real Venice. The real Venice. I love my Christmas party outfit with its Venetian twist. This 395 euro Diane von Furstenberg dress from Al Duca d'Osta looks great with my gold accessories. The clutch bag from Cochinelle costs 60 euros. I spent 150 euros on this Arnaldo Batois bracelet and the ring again from Cochinelle set me back 46 euros. Topped off with the exotic mask at 36 euros, my total spend was a very respectable 687 euros. Georgia has struck the right balance between glamorous and quirky for her music festival. The beautiful Arnaudo Batois dress at 420 euros adds a touch of drama. The 240 euro Peyton bag from Cochinelle goes with the belt from Al Duca d'Osta for 150 euros. The whole outfit was given a very individual finish with the Juliana Longo's 195 euro flying hat. Georgia went a bit over budget at 1,005 euros, but I lent her the extra cash. Well, you have definitely got me in the festive spirit in one of, I think, the most beautiful cities in the world. Okay, so thank you, you so it's much for being the best guide. There's only one thing left to do is go and spend the rest of my budget and I'll see you next time on Fashion Avenue. Come on.